Hi, this video is spoiler free in the sense that I won't show or talk about anything that's not in the game's official trailer. What will be discussed is how the game does an incredible job of enabling your own learning. If that sounds intriguing and you love puzzle games, then I suggest you stop this video, don't even watch the trailer, just pick up the game. There is a certain extra value to playing through the first couple of hours, knowing absolutely nothing about it. OK, disclaimer over. The Witness is a very remarkable and important game, and I finally decided to create a video about it because I noticed that trying to explain why this was the case to other people was tricky, since it's essential to avoid all kinds of spoilers and not in the traditional story sense. It's actually to do with how and what you learn in the game, because if you spoil that, then a new player will easily become stuck, since they haven't gone through that process and achieved the necessary understanding themselves. That, and all of the various ideas that make you go, WHAT?! The other thing that kept cropping up was how the learning process was broken down, and how that resembled the approach taken for the tutorial work I do, specifically the beginner's tutorials. No assumptions are made about a person's prior knowledge, we start at the absolute basics. The user's understanding is gradually built up one step at a time. New topics are layered on top of what has come before, and by the end, something meaningful has been created. The Witness takes this even further. <coughs> IQ tests measure some aspects of intelligence, but they mostly rely on testing existing knowledge, things learnt during the course of your life. In video games, introducing a new mechanic and fleshing it out in a meaningful, engaging way takes a lot of development work, and a few hours of gameplay. So puzzles in most games, even dedicated puzzlers, also tend to rely on existing knowledge. The Witness really does not seem interested in this, however, and in fact takes the opposite approach. It wants you to learn to teach yourself what the correct answers are. It achieves this by breaking down the fundamental gameplay to the absolute basics. A single mechanic applied to two concepts that are innately understood by the player. There's the journey, with definite beginning and end points. And there's pattern recognition. These two concepts, acting in concert in a video game which provides interactivity and feedback, allows you to determine the correct route to advance through the simple act of trying. That basic method will carry you through the entire game, even as new perspectives are layered on top, progressing your interaction. The reason it's able to do this is because you're guided along your journey by the incredibly fine-tuned game design. You work through something new and valuable each step of the way especially when it explains what you don't know. A good example of this is the path that lies before you upon leaving the starting area. It branches off slightly in a couple of places, one giving you your first good view of the island, the other presenting you with a complex puzzle that you have no idea how to solve. However, from this position, you can see other panels on the path ahead. These panels turn out to be a set of tutorials, much like the starting area, which was a tutorial of the journey. But now you must combine that with pattern recognition to gain the information necessary to tackle the more difficult puzzles that contain these concepts. Now, that's worthwhile in and of itself, but it also subtly implants an idea in your head. 
that if you're prevented from moving forward and you're struggling to grasp how a puzzle could be solved, then you don't currently have all of the necessary information. Which leads to a key lesson that the game is trying to impart. This isn't really an intelligence test. In addition to paying attention to all aspects of your journey and recognising the patterns along the way, the deciding factor in your success is your attitude upon being confounded. Whether you're encountering puzzles that seem frustratingly impossible, or you made an assumption about how things are supposed to work, but now those assumptions are failing you, you have to be okay with admitting, I don't know, or I got this wrong. Puzzle games almost always get your progress very strictly, but here you're free to wander around the whole island. Stepping away and tackling other areas will get your brain working in different ways, inspiring your approach to old problems. Alternatively, you can exit, do some real life stuff, or explore this beautiful world and not think about the puzzles at all. Perhaps ponder some of the more abstract ideas you have about everything. When I mentioned before that The Witness wants you to learn to teach yourself what the correct answers are, that holds true for the puzzles, but doesn't directly apply to the game's overall meaning, which is left deliberately vague. But perhaps that is the real meaning to take away from the whole experience. That simpler processes can be measured to have a definite answer as to whether they are valid or invalid. But the much larger, complexly intertwined ideas, by their very nature, cannot. Well, that's no better a solution than any of the others, is it? 